Hello, my name is Alan with the Renaissance Man Image Consulting. So you're wondering, what essential shoe should I own that's the most versatile and will complement my wardrobe? I know it can be difficult to find the right shoe with so many colors, variations, and options out there. Today I will be talking about the five essential men's shoes to own to have for any outfit. I know from experience that a great outfit can be ruined by horrible shoes and a decent outfit can be made spectacular with the right shoes. Number one, we have the black Oxford leather shoe. Now this shoe is the shoe that most guys reach for and I can see why. It's really versatile. It can be worn with a formal outfit or it can be dressed down with a nice pair of jeans. For the design of the shoe, you want to look for something that's sleek and has a round front end. Now, in the 90s, the squared front end shoe was cool, but today, not so cool. Stay away from the front squared toed shoe. Up next, we have the brown leather shoe. Now this shoe is a Renaissance man personal favorite. It comes in light brown to a medium brown to a dark chocolate brown shade. I recommend for your first brown leather shoe to get a light or a medium brown color. In the daylight, this shoe looks awesome, and at nighttime, a darker chocolate brown can still be pulled off. Now these shoes look great with navy, light gray, and even a blue suit. Even better, they can be dressed down with jeans. Basically, this shoe you can't go wrong with because it looks sexy with everything. Now, if it's raining or it's snowing out, which many of us from San Diego rarely get to see, Switch out those brown Ferragamos for some nice dress boots. You'll thank me later. These shoes come in varieties, including wingtips, quarter brogue, half brogue, oxfords, monk straps, you name it. I recommend you start with something simple like your brown oxfords, and then as you want to add to your wardrobe, you can start exploring the different types of shoes. You can't go wrong with your first set of oxfords. Number three is the loafer. This is going to be your casual leather shoe that is really easy to slip into. This shoe is awesome if you're traveling, let's say going through airport security, or if you're looking for something comfortable to wear that's still acceptable to the office. This shoe is also awesome because it can be dressed up or it can be dressed down. In addition, this shoe is going to be versatile because it can be worn year round. I would go with the brown loafer because like I mentioned before, brown looks basically awesome with anything that you pair it with. So in terms of types of loafers out there, we have the mock toe, the tassel, horse bit, full strap, and penny loafer. In addition, there's driver moccasins. Now driver moccasins are going to be a lot simpler in design. They're gonna be really simple in the front and they're gonna be really comfortable. These basically come in leather or suede. I would recommend going with a leather penny loafer as your most versatile loafer in your wardrobe. Number four, you can't go wrong with the classic buck shoe. Now this shoe is awesome because it sits in the middle of a really formal dress shoe and a really casual sneaker. This shoe is characterized by its simplicity in design and its nice suede finish. This shoe looks awesome in the summer and in the spring. These bad boys are awesome to be paired with jeans, chinos, and khakis. You gotta have a buck shoe. Number five, we have the casual shoe. It pains me to see gentlemen out there with otherwise great outfits get ruined by some nasty ass running shoes. It's not okay. It's also not okay to have some dirty, stained, unpolished shoes. What do women look at when they first see you from a distance? That's right, your shoes. Do you a favor and wear some clean, polished, well taken care of shoes regardless of what you decide to wear. 
Now some good options for casual sneakers include Asics, Adidas, and low top Vans. Ideally, you're going to want a shoe that's sleek, streamlined, and pairs well with jeans or some nice flat front shorts. Think versatility, streamline, and neutral colors, but still comfortable. You can judge a man by his shoes. They reveal whether he's detail-oriented about the little things and the standard that he holds himself to. In addition, the standard that he holds his clothes and his lifestyle to. A nice suit with chunky, ugly lace-ups are not what give the impression of a detailed man. Likewise, scuff, torn, or worn-out shoes that are otherwise unpolished might not be someone that you want to do business with. Take your style to the next level. Gentlemen, my name is Alan with the Renaissance Man Image Consulting. It's been a pleasure, and I will see you soon. And I'm feeling good. I